So welcome back to some new game news and this is video game news that has come out this week that I wanted to talk about and I didn't want to just make a little video about this bit or this bit, I just want to talk about it all in one go. Okay, this this first bit of news is, it's a rumor, it's a rumor, a lot of sites are reporting this and I, I think my reaction is probably what everybody else's reaction is when you hear this, that Bandai Namco is, first of all, they're working on a few NX titles and one of the launch games that they're working on is a Smash Brothers game. Here's my reaction. What the fuck? They're working on a Smash Brothers game? I just, it didn't sink in. I was like, is this, like, obviously it's rumor. But my mind was just kind of like, I was like a bit in shock. I'm like, they're working on a, a Smash Brothers game at launch? I could see maybe, you know, like a, a year into the NX or something like that, but coming out with a straight Smash Brothers game right away? Wow, nobody knows if it's a brand new game or there's other rumors that it's a port of the current Smash Brothers brought over to the NX and I I was just so taken back by the news. I'm like, that's so weird that Bandai Namco, like, I just, I never kind of thought that was gonna happen or anything like that. It's still rumor, but I enjoy rumors. I enjoy uh, rumors like this, especially about the NX rumors. Anything I get to hear about the NX right now is, is very exciting. Uh, it's very unusual. It's like, is this really happening? Is, well, so That was the first bit of news. Okay, the next is Team NT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Platinum. Not a surprise to me. I've known about it for a while. I, I've really known about the game for a while, but I was blown away as everybody else to see it. And you know, let's be, let's be honest. I love Platinum games. I love what they do. I love every single game that they've ever come out with. I really, I'm a big, big fan. Transformers Devastation, when I knew that they had that franchise, I knew it was in good hands. I didn't know how good it would be though. So they proved themselves with that game. So I knew TMNT was gonna be awesome, but when I watched the trailer, I'm like, man, I said, Platinum really, they really know like, like a franchise. They really know what the fans like about it and they know how to translate it into video game form. Only Platinum can do it that well. Oh yes, uh, I, I remember, I think it was a couple weeks ago now, I talked about the kid who racked up $8,000 on his father's credit card for a FIFA on Xbox. And uh, you know, so we didn't know he was going to go to, uh, to to Microsoft and say, hey, come on, I my kid put this on. I don't want to pay it, come on, don't give me this bill, don't give me this bill. Where obviously they did waive it, thank God, so he doesn't have to pay it. But lesson learned for your son who's 16 years old, don't, don't, don't rack up fucking DLC like that. That's insane. Also a great week for Sega, announcing the 3DS, 3D classics that they're bringing out over here. Thank God for that. So we're getting a whole bunch of Genesis games in 3D brought out to the 3DS. You can buy a physical copy now, which is wonderful. Uh, something else that blew me away, Valkyria Chronicles is getting a high definition upgrade. I couldn't believe it. Like. Back on the PlayStation 3 when they released Valkyrie Chronicles, it felt like a return to Sega. The Sega that we enjoyed growing up, that they were doing something fresh and original, a strategy game with really cool anime characters. It really reminded me of when they took a chance and they made Sakura Wars back in the day. And I played Valkyrie Chronicles and I gotta admit, I love the game, I love the style, I loved everything, but I was terrible at the game. I don't know what it was. I just, I couldn't get with the program of the game. But I also, you know, I always appreciated the style of it so much that I had to pick up back in the day the Valkyria Chronicles art book. And even if you dislike the game, you gotta appreciate the art style of this game. It's just brilliant. It's really beautiful stuff. And nice to see Sega doing an upgrade of that. There's a steel book coming out for pre orders, or you can just download the game. And last but certainly not least, Mighty Number no. 9 has been delayed once again by KJ Nifune and Concept. What are my thoughts on it? I. I. It's not a surprise. I guess that's, that's how I can say it. It's not a surprise. I remember when the Red Ash Kickstarter started, I knew there was a problem. I thought, wow, Mighty Number no. 9 is not out and we're already trying to kickstart another game. 
which didn't look like, you know, they really put a lot, not a lot of thought into. You know, they're like, yeah, we want to do an anime, we want to do this, we want to do this, and we have some very light concept art to show you about it. I was like, oh, well, where's Mighty Number no. 9 first? And it just seemed like they just keep delaying the game. It's like, work on one game at a time. That's that's my take on it. I still like Keiji Nifune. He has done so much great stuff on, with Mega Man over the years. But taking people's money over Kickstarter and delaying and delaying and delaying the game, but you're announcing other games, that's not cool. We can all admit that. We really can. Don't, you know, like, nobody's got a problem with Mighty Number no. 9. Some people like the game. Some people are not liking the game. But we're not, we're not against that. We're against, like, the game is being delayed while you're announcing other games. This is the problem, the fundamental problem. Uh, something that I, I was really, I was upset about in the week. I was like, but I kind of saw it coming. I am not surprised, and I don't think any Mighty Number no. 9 fan is surprised at this point. You know, I just hope that now that Kojima... He's on his own, he's away from uh, you know, Konami, that he can just, you know, he can go and make a game uh, however he decides to do it and just follow through on it. Uh, you know what I mean? Because when Keiji Nifune left Capcom, everybody was like applauding, he was a saint. And now everybody's condemning him to hell. I'm not, I'm not condemning him to hell. But just, I'm just saying, release one game at a time. And Kojima, you're in the golden light now. Please, just, just make the game and just release it and... Yeah, hopefully there's no other problems with these. This is a problem though. Yeah, with Kickstarters, you can't. You know, we all invest money into these things like Shenmue 3 and and all that Bloodstained or things I really am a big fan of and I'm, I'm a packer up. But see, look at look at what can happen. Look what can happen. So it's been delayed. You know, obviously to do some refinements on the engine. The engine's not working on some other things and blah blah blah. Whatever. It's it's a you know just take your time, release it, and just. Do one thing at a time, that's it. So, guys, what do you think of some of that game news? How about the NX stuff? Smash Brothers, that's just wild. So, anyways, guys, until next time.